Now you are going to learn about defining plot elements and matplotlib. Plot elements add context to your plot, so the plot effectively conveys meaning to its viewers. You set access limits to make sure your chart is well fit to your data graphing. You set access tick marks and plot grids to make it easier and faster for viewers to interpret your chart at a glance. You can use subplots to visually compare changes in data values under different conditions like in different seasons, different locations or in different years. Adding plot elements is an essential part of object-oriented plotting. We discussed functional plotting in chapter 2.1. Now it's time to go over object-oriented plotting. With this method, you generate a blank figure and then populate that figure with an axis and plot elements. There are four simple steps to object-oriented plotting. The first is to create a blank figure object. The second is to add axis to the object. Then you generate a plot within the figured object. And lastly, you specify plotting and layout parameters for the plots within your figure. Those are the plot elements we are going to discuss. One more thing I am going to do in this demonstration is to show you how to generate subplots. A subplot is a plotting figure that contains more than one plot or subplots. It's easy to generate subplots using matplotlib. I am about to show you how. Let's look at object-oriented plotting and how to define plot elements in matplotlib. In this demonstration, you are going to be using NumPy and Pandas as usual. So we will copy and paste these libraries in. And then you are also going to be using matplotlib. So you want to import that like we did earlier. Import matplotlib type by plot as plt. And then we are going to set our C program parents again. So we will say from matplotlib import rcp parents. Okay, great. And we run this. And we have got our libraries and then let's set our layout settings for all of the data visualizations within this Jupyter notebook. We covered all this in the last section. We will just run that and then we want to create some objects we can work with for the data visualization. So we will just create a x variable and a y variable. We are going to set x equal to a series of numbers between 1 and 9. So we will call the range function and we will pass in 1 through 10 is the limit. And then we are also for y. We are going to make that a list and we will just add some values. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I will go back through and add in the commas. Next we want to create the blank figure object. We will call it fig. So we are going to say fig is equal to plt.figure. This generates a blank figure and then we are going to add an axis to this figure and we need to tell Python where to place that axis. To add the axis you call the add axis method. We will say fig dot add axis and then we are going to create a list and we are going to tell it where we want that axis placed so i will say on the left side we want it placed at point one on the bottom we want it placed at point one width we want it one and height we want one and i'm just going to reuse this all throughout the rest of the course this is going to be where we place our axis and to generate a plot call this whole thing ax and that's our blank figure with an axis added to it we call the plot function off of the x object and pass in the name of the variables we want plotted in this case we are going to say ax.plot and pass in xy you need to replace this period with a comma and there we have it. We have a simple line plot we created through object oriented plotting method. Now I am going to show you how to set axis limits and tick mark levels. 
each time we create a plot with object oriented plotting we need to recreate the figure and add the axis but this time let's set some limits of the x and y axis you do that with the set x limb or set y limb methods so let's set the x axis limits to between 1 and 9 we do that by calling the set x limb method of of our x object set dash x limb and then we pass in the list with the limits we want to use 1 and 9 and then again we will set our y limits by calling the set y limb method and then this time we will pass in a list with the limits of 0 and 5 for the y axis and also I want to show you how to set tick marks for the x and y axis you can do that with the set x ticks method and the set y ticks method I will show you here we will call set dash x ticks and we are going to call that off of our x object and then we are going to tell python that we want tick marks at position 0 1 2 4 5 6 8 9 10 and then let's do it this again for our y tick marks so i'm going to copy and paste this down i change x to y and then this time we are going to ask for our y tick marks to be a series of numbers between 0 and 5 and then to plot this whole thing we write the name of our object ax and then we call the plot method of of it and we pass in our two variables x and y this looks pretty good so we will print it out and here we go I made sure to make the tick marks on the x axis a little inconsistent so you could see what pythons actually doing here and when you call the x tick method and pass in the list of the tick marks you want label you get those and only those as you can see here on the bottom one more thing I want to show you here is how to add a grid we will reuse the chart we just made so I'm going to copy and paste the code we used to create it from above and then all you have to do here is add x grid you call the grid method off of your x object to add a grid to your chart and then we will plot it out and you can see here how it makes it easier to read the chart at a glance that's the point of adding the grid the last thing I wanted to show you in this demonstration is how to generate subplots in matplotlib to create subplots you use matplotlib subplots method when you pass in the number of rows and columns matplotlib will plot out several plots inside of one figure to do this from scratch you first generate a figure object then you add an axis for plots that you want added within it we want one row and two columns of subplots so we are going to write fig equals plt figure this generates our blank figure objects and then inside this figure we are going to have two axes this time x1 and x2 and we are going to tell python that we want this to be a set of subplots we are going to call the subplots function and we are going to pass in the number of rows and columns we want for the subplots so it's going to be one row two columns in the first plot that will be x is one let's just plot x so we will call the plot method then we will pass in the x variable and then in the second plot x2 we will plot both x and y so we will say dot plot pass in x and y and print it out and there we have it so we have got one figure object two axes and two separate plots plotted out that was an easy walkthrough in how you can customize your matplotlib data visualization and next i'm going to show you how you can format your plot with custom colors widths alignments line styles and marker types